We begin tonight with new details on a gruesome murder in Phoenix. This man, Thomas Wallace, is accused of using a chainsaw to kill an elderly man living in the same home. Wallace was in court today, but the murder he's accused of happened more than a month ago. The victim's family hadn't heard from him for a few weeks, and the police officers who went to check on him found him dismembered inside his own home. Michael Raimondi is live near 27th Avenue in Camelback, and Michael, you've been learning more about this man from his neighbors. Yeah, neighbors are really just stunned to find out what happened inside the house behind us. They told us an Air Force veteran in his 80s lived inside this home and were just shocked to find out that someone living here allegedly murdered Tim. So they were just telling me today he will certainly be missed. A Phoenix neighborhood is now wondering why something so violent would happen here. He was just a great guy. Ruby Lowry knew the man across the street since the 70s when they moved here. Police have not identified the man who was killed. Ruby didn't want to show her face, but she wanted to share he was the neighborhood handyman. Oh, he was a very good neighbor. He was a very good man. He would help anybody. And according to court paperwork, he helped Ramona Gonzalez, who moved in with him. Last April, he helped one of her friends move in, too. That friend... Thomas Wallace. ...is the one accused of murdering the homeowner. The family of the victim hadn't heard from him for four weeks. They called police to check on him. When they went inside, they found him dismembered in trash bags. Very sad. Like I said, he didn't deserve to. Police say Wallace used a chainsaw to murder the man, but they aren't sure why. Wallace is now being held on a million-dollar bond. I hope they get what they deserve, you know, because, like I said, he, he was to help anybody. That's why he probably had him over there. As for that woman, Ramona, who was living here a couple of years ago and then brought Wallace here to live as well, she is facing charges for selling some of the stolen items she took from the homeowner here. As for Wallace, he is expected back in court next week. Reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Michael Raimondi for Arizona's Family. Very sad. Michael, thanks.